I would just like to go across to uh, Nikhil Joshi. Um, Nikhil, tell us, at Digital Jalebi, you all work with frontline workers where they're using experiential technology. So tell us, what are those digital tools which can help physicians, caregivers, as well as nurses? Namaste to everyone on the panel. Really happy to be here. So a very, very interesting thing is happening, not just in India, across the world. We are now realizing the true power of technology. We are actually not fancied by emerging technologies, immersive technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality. But we are actually using it to tackle the base ground level problem. So when it, we talk about caregivers, uh, one of the important problems is they are generally trained in groups and they are trained on say, they're generally given videos, two dimensional content, pamphlets, and then they are uh, asked to perform certain activities where they go through a procedural training, but they're never able to get into the scenario. They are never able to experience how a labor management room would look like. A very interesting example that I heard from one of the uh, social sector organization is a lot of nurses, these are uh, ASHA workers, when they actually do labor management for the first time, uh, and they, when they see a lot of blood in the pregnancy, they faint. And a lot of them have hemophobia at some level. And none, no, none type of uh, training is actually able to make them or prepare them for any kind of uh, such scenario. So we are increasingly using virtual reality, augmented reality to be able to give them the closest experience to how these situations would be. Uh, coming to say like a physician or a, a surgeon, they're increasing using, increasingly using virtual technologies to uh, help their imagination. I heard one of the AIMS doctors telling me that whenever we do any kind of uh, heart surgery and we have to clear uh, the valves for blockage and all, we look at these scans and then imagine where the valve blockage would be and actually enter the uh, surgical room with that imagination. But with virtual reality, we are literally able to get inside the hurt. We are able to understand where exact blockage is rather than because a lot of layers of hurts while the scan is there are not visible in the two-dimensional scan. When it comes to patients, patients today are using uh, technologies like glucometer patches, which is which are just there around their arm, which are um, tethering data to their phones. And now they are able to quickly analyze their data. They are the ones who understand what they eat and how that uh, particular uh, food product or a particular food type is affecting their glucose levels. So uh, I think the trend shift is using the right kind of technology for the right place. And this has happened Nikhil, across the world. Actually, yeah. on that note, Nikhil, I'm just, you know, just going to yeah. cut you there. Sorry. But yeah, I mean, using the right technology is key.